hi guys uh, I've completed the um, this handle grip uh, attachment over here so basically uh, I make it such that you do not require the screw so um, it basically just snap on so to remove it actually there is a small slot that I make over at the center if you look closely all right so you can actually place your screwdriver in and then uh, you can uh, basically just twist it a little bit which I'll show you so you just go in and then just slowly you know just be gentle about it and then you can uh, remove it okay like this okay so this is the uh, piece that I make so basically it comes in two parts like this Okay, so um, just join here. There's some teeth over here and here and here. So these are the two parts. So we just go in and then you can snap fit it. So it should be quite uh, secure. Um, if you don't, you, you, you can't really pry open that easily. Um, I would recommend it uh, you to set a good uh, print setting to print this. Um, to, get a, to get a good finish and also a good fit yeah so over here you can just you know pry it a little bit and it will just come apart slowly okay yeah so yep so this is how I uh, so called make the attachment All right as usual this will be available in my thing givers account so I'm Tungsten, uh, thanks for watching, uh, hi guys, uh, I think I can add a little bit on uh, how I make all this attachment, so um, I think my subscriber will know that uh, I'm actually also new to so called 3D modeling and uh, printing, so I use the uh, software called Design Spark Mechanical, it is a free software and I think it is not that complex so it's uh, pretty good for beginners or people who do not have any experience so you can go and download it and give it a try so for myself um, before even I go into uh, so called purchasing a 3D printer I actually try out the software to make sure that uh, I can use it comfortably and then uh, it can produce the things that I want to produce and then, then I, tr I, I, I sort of look for a uh, very simple um, 3d printer and then get started so my experience of 3d modeling is very limited so I guess my process might be a little bit uh, long with that but anyway uh, just to show you the process of how I make this uh, attachment come out so here I started off just by doing a simple shape like this in the uh, software and then I just print out a very thin layer and see whether it goes well over here obviously this is not going well so I make a few you no know, adjustment, a few iteration like this. Okay, so eventually, uh, you, know, you 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 probably get closer and closer each time you try, and then of course, uh, eventually I guess I got something like this. Yeah. So once I'm satisfied with uh, this thing, so I basically just you know start to drag it to become a bigger piece like this. Okay, so uh, then I start to know I can carve groove over here and of course after carving the groove I'll, I'll try to do a test fit and then when I'm uh, happy with the uh, fitting so I sort of like understand that I need to sort of round the edges so after which I, I came out with this so this is a very simplified thing so to so see whether it goes well so once it goes well, of course, then I can clean it, clean it up even further. So as you can see, if you uh, all these test prints, uh, the setting is pretty um, minimum. So just to get the shape, it's not so refined. You don't need to be so refined. And then of course I'll pro proceed on. Then I try to do this. So I can shape it up a little bit more. Test fit it. Uh, this this <laughs> this has some issue with the fitting. So you can see it's a lot of trial and error. Then of course the um, if you compare like the front end, one is more squarish, one is like rounded. So I slowly improve the uh, stuff. Then I come to a point whereby I'm quite satisfied. So um, so I try to split it up. Then uh, of course I try to 
see whether I can fit it even better no? get the gaps uh, well then of course now then I have a decision of whether should I just go ahead and um, sort of uh, opening up a, a hole over here such that I can just uh, do a screw um, post and then uh, I can secure this quite nicely but uh, I wanted to have something that uh, uh, will, that will not require screw I want to see whether it can be done just uh, so so I try then of course I, I came up with some teeth over here to do the uh, lock interlocking but uh, again it's a, a, some sort of a trial or error I realized the first attempt is like it's very um, easy to break because I guess it's too long then of course oh damn okay <laughs> this piece I should not <laughs> close up because once it close up it's quite difficult to uh, pry open uh, also that brings me to another point uh, so I realized no if uh, you have to snap it on there's no easy way to you know, open it so hence I I, uh, I think this transparent piece is not so easy to see again another piece so I decided to you know, model something whereby you have a very small slit over here whereby you can put a screwdriver okay it's at the bottom so nobody can really see it so once you have that you can just you know, put in and then just twist it and then you open up and then you can further twist it twist it twist it and everything comes apart yep so with that then I you know, do a little bit of test fitting so for example, this guy over here okay so I'm quite satisfied with the feel of it okay yeah then of course try okay then eventually okay I look for a good um, sort of every now and then I'll, I'll try some printer setting to see what is the uh, so-called a good good setting so I guess because I mean the printer is we own it and then basically this out for our own consumption I guess no you if you can we can afford to know set a much better setting for ourselves okay so if you own a 3d printer I guess uh, you can do uh, set a good setting for yourself so this is actually printed in uh, quite a, a fine setting and it's a small piece so it doesn't really take that long yep so this is the uh, final product so you can see this fits here three teeth one teeth here then this piece will go into this uh, sort of uh, placement to interlock it so interlock with this and this so yep it snap fits okay so this is uh, what I have okay the uh, hand uh, grip so yeah so if you are interested in uh, getting into 3d modeling 3d printing and uh, you have no experience uh, you can try out design spark mechanical there are a lot of online um, tutorial over there and uh, with, a uh, with a few hours of uh, looking through the uh, videos and trying it out uh, when you're comfortable you know you can really look for a uh, affordable 3d printer um, to get going yeah so I'm tungsten uh, thanks for watching